What's up guys, wanted to show you quickly how to install this IntelliGel 80 watt power supply. I'm putting together a uh, DIY case and I've never installed a bus board before. And I was kind of scouring all over the internet trying to figure out how to connect these four cables. So I just uh, wanted to show you quickly how to do it and it's very simple. I just didn't want to blow this thing up and I want to uh, show some other people so they have some confidence when they're putting it together. So without further ado, here you go. Um, so what I got here is an 80 watt uh, TPS triple power supply. Very nice and black. Um, what I had to get with then here, uh, I'm building my own case and uh, I was going to make my own switch and put it in the side of the case and all that, but I figured it would just be a lot easier just to throw this on there. This is the uh, the power switch that you can get. Comes with uh, the forks here. This is what I was talking about of how to connect it, which I wasn't quite sure how to do initially. I had to kind of look online and figure it out. But that's the, the, uh, the switch there. Got my screwdriver. The module I'm gonna test out and see if it works. And then this is the power supply here that they recommend for the bus board. It's the uh, Meanwell 90 watt power supply. You want to make sure your power supply, uh, from what I've been seeing online, is you want to make sure your power supply actually exceeds your your bus board, what it can supply. Since this is an 80 watt, got a 90 watt brick here. All right, so let's get to it. The red fork here. Is the positive so right here you have a positive that first positive there there's a little screw under there let's see if I can turn it so you can see it see that screw we're gonna have to unscrew it a little bit and you slide that fork underneath it also there's these holes right here that you're going to feed the uh, the wires through here. So I just screwed that on. I didn't like over tighten it or anything like that. You can see now that red fork is slid underneath that screw and tightened down for the connection. So let's do the black one now. And the black one is going to be going to the first negative right here. See the negative? Not really sure how we can make that look a little bit prettier here. Yeah, whatever. When I get off camera, I'll try and adjust it. But anyway, there you have it. There's the red connected to the positive, black connected to the negative. So let's connect our module. Always know red stripe, so negative 12 volts, but always check your, your header here. 
probably sound dumb as hell. I don't know all the terminology for this, but you want to check the head of it for a negative 12. And there's a little arrow. You're not going to be able to see it, I think, but... Red stripe with that arrow there. And that's going to go to the negative 12 on the power supply or the bus board. What I like about this bus board, I think they're called shrouded headers. And what that does is prevents you from uh, putting in the module the wrong way and frying it. Just making sure this other side was connected right. All right, so moment of truth. Let me get down here on the flow, plug in this brick and see uh, if we get some power. Plug it in here. And let's see. Would you look at that? And we have power. And I don't think I fried it. I'm amazed right now. All the lights are lit up. Plus 5 volts, negative 12 volts, plus 12 volts. I'm colorblind, so I don't know what colors they are, so I hope that's good. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope this helped you out a little bit. Um, I, I know it was tough for me to find these kind of videos, so I wanted to do one for you guys. All right, guys. Take it easy.